Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to complete the steering wheel rollout event. We have four out of five deliveries completed now. So I did two more in American Truck Simulator since the last time we were together in Euro Truck Simulator. And there sh I found Thrustmasters in American Truck Simulator, by the way. This is the one we want. Uh, we're going to go Sholo. And is Sholo a city in Arizona? And why don't I know that? I would think I would know the name of something so oddly named. I mean, that's really a city? Or is that, like, is it a Native American name that somehow has been changed or modified? Or it just is a Native American name? But, name, but it just looks kind of funny. Sholo. Or, wow, I feel like I should know this already. But anyway, we're going to begin this delivery, taking Thrustmasters from Sholo, Arizona, to Klingman, Arizona. And I feel like if it is Native American, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe it's like Sholo or something like that. It's about 4.30 in the morning. We've got about 13 minutes to go to go pick up our uh, Thrustmaster. So we will get going here. How do we get out of here again? I gotta go this way. All right, so we are at Walbert right now. We dropped off the last Thrustmasters. So we will get on the road here, get out to the main road, and then we're gonna go pick up our Thrustmasters. Looks like it's about a five hour delivery, so not too long, but I'm excited to finish this up. Apparently we get if you finish the event, you get a real Thrustmaster steering wheel mailed to your house, right? Wouldn't that be nice? You get like a little toy for the dashboard. We can always use more toys for the dashboard. So I think the goal for this episode is to finish the Thrustmaster delivery event, then go get the toy and get it on our dashboard. So we will end this event with the toy on our dashboard. And we are putzing around Arizona. So hi to DigiRules the World, our our co-pilot, who we are now in his home state right now, picking up a few more cities here. I did uh, two quick deliveries as uh, in, well, it wasn't so quick, in American Truck Simulator. Turns out that, yes, you just had to be, not every city has Thrustmasters available. So once I went to a different city, uh, I was able to get Thrustmasters pretty easily. And the last three cities that we've been into uh, has had thr plenty of Thrustmasters for us to deliver. Kids are eager to get them in their hands. There are a lot of Thrustmasters being delivered across the, the states right now. So by any indication here. So we'll um, we'll get going. We'll see you once we get to, looks like we're picking up Thrustmasters at Walbert again, maybe? I thought we were just at Walbert. Anyway, we'll, wherever they are, we're just going to go get them. So we'll see you in a sec. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew that. I was going too fast. I saw the cop and I hit the brake, but he was too quick for me. $620. <clears throat> All right, it is Sell Goods or whatever this place is called. Here are our Thrustmasters right here. Get these hooked up. Sweet. Zip over there. Zip right in here. Take a quick look at them. I like these trailers. I'm going to miss them. The event's only going. This is what, November 4th right now? So only three more days for the event here? All right, so our Thrustmasters are attached. They have the little lights going all around the outside of the trailer. That's pretty cool. Looks like a cool wheel. I would love one. Hint, hint, Thrustmaster. But apparently, we're not there yet. But as I start this, the YouTube channel is at 982 or something like that, viewers. So it's closing in on that magic 1,000 subscriber not viewer subscriber mark so thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and watched these and supported and stuff like that for someone who creates videos like this for, for as a creating video product that that's always felt like the big goal and so it feels really cool to uh, be drawing close to that so thank you so much for all the support over the past year and a half or, or more actually i think watching these episodes and stuff and offering advice and tips and everything i am forever in debt Thank you so much. We're speeding again. The Arizona speed limits, did you rules the rules are much too low. Could you get them to increase them, please? And there are police everywhere. See, like five police cars now. Make it safe, right? That car's gonna stop. Stop car. I don't wanna damage the Thrustmasters. Although maybe if we damage some, they would give them away for free. But yeah, we'll make our way through the town here. Whoops, going too fast again. Get back out on the highway, and then let's talk. I have some things I'm curious to hear what people think about. Alrighty, four and a half hours to go out of this five-hour journey. We've been on the highway for a little while here, and the sun is coming up behind us to the east. We're 
going behind a slow hay truck and so I thought this might be a good time to kind of chat a little bit. So many things to talk about. New, new hat. I've actually had this hat but I don't think I've used it before. Seattle Kraken, the new NHL hockey team, which is pretty cool. Gosh, this hay truck is really slow. Come on, hay truck. Ah, oh, he's going to let us pass. Nice. But anyway, as the sun rises here, a few things to talk about. First up, Ahmed, our new driver, as opposed to Jana Kay, has already made over $1,000 on his very first ride. And, so this is town of Holbrook, huh? And he leveled up already. So he is showing Jana Kay how to do it. Go Ahmed. That's pretty good too. And another thing to talk about, I was reading a little bit about the 1.43 update in uh, the next one, which will be after 1.42. And apparently one of the big things for it is going to be scenic viewpoints in the rest of Euro Truck Simulator too. Because right now they only have them apparently in Iberia. They have a couple of other ones. I think like when you cross... Is that Danube maybe I think it's when you cross the Danube there's like a little scenic viewpoint but other than that they don't have them but they're gonna add them I think uh, I want to say like 70 of them to your truck simulator too which would be kind of cool actually again it'd be nice and cool if they had some achievement with the with, with those two but that's kind of coming up Vaya recto. it's kind of a neat little town oops 25 miles an hour you're not gonna get us that truck is speeding how come they're going oh it's 35 now Ah, so there's the hay truck. We gotta turn right up ahead. So we're gonna have to really smash on the gas here to slide by this truck. Cut it in front of him. Get on the highway up ahead. Us against the hay. Here we go. Drag race. It's gonna go. We're gonna time this. Yellow. Now. Yeah, we got a fraction of a second head start on him. We are blowing the hay away. Hey, man. See you. Now we just do the little slide in front. Get him to slam on his brakes. Dust it. Yeah. I don't drive like this in real life, though. I'm a nice driver in real life. It's a little different in Euro Truck Simulator. You have to kind of enforce your will on the road. Because we all know some of the AI drivers. A little bit crazy. But anyway, I have a bigger thing I'd like to talk about. But let's get a further, a little bit further down the road. Because this trip isn't... I don't want to burn out of all the things to talk about in the first five minutes of the drive. So we'll see you in a little bit. Put some miles on the road here. Let the sun come up. So talk to you soon. What? Why was it a red light violation? I stopped and I had my... Ah, uh, Digi, what's up with your Arizona police? $700 red light violation? I was speeding. I'll give him that. But I, I stopped. I had my blinker on, didn't I? Did I do something wrong? Ah, they're not very understanding here. You can't talk them out of anything. Anyway, sun's up now. Clear sailing away. $700 fine. We don't have that much money to be losing $700 and $600 like every five minutes or so. Anyway, we'll think positive thoughts. Make way down the road. Always think positive. Just a scenic moment here as we cut across some of the desert in Arizona here. Check it out. Stay on the road. A lot of wide open spaces again. This is what Arizona is really like, DigiRules the World. I've actually been there and driven in the desert. I went geocaching in your deserts too, which was pretty cool. I believe I found, if I'm not mistaken, the oldest geocache in Arizona. Whoops. It's a pretty cool achievement, I suppose. It's just outside of Phoenix, like three or four hours, I think. But anyway, neither here nor there. Quick scenic moment. We'll be back momentarily to talk about other things. All right, a little bit under three hours left on our journey. Making pretty good time outside of the $700 red light violation and the $600 something dollar speeding ticket. We're doing really well. But yeah, I guess sometimes you just have to pay for stuff, of course, right? Oh, this is looking a lot different now. We got trees in here. We're kind of rolling out of the desert, so. I think we're getting closer to the western edge now of Arizona, maybe, huh? Anyway, I've been thinking, and I was curious what other people think. So, you may recall if you saw the Euro Truck, I think it was the Euro Truck Simulator 2 episode, we were talking about how cool it would be, how, like the short event got me thinking, wouldn't it be cool if there were like weekly challenges where you just come in and you'd have to do a certain thing, like have to deliver, 
I don't know, like eight log loads or something like that. Or you have to live, make five deliveries to Walbert's. And it was just like a weekly challenge that just changed every you know, Sunday or Monday or something like that at midnight. And then if you did it, you got, I, I suggested like experience or money or something like that. And then Dragon's Hater Name was saying like, well, that's not really going to motivate me because I've already got enough experience and I've already got enough money. That's pretty easy to get. So I'm not sure that would be motivating to do. And so that got me thinking, okay, what would be motivating? Like, what could you make as a motivating thing? One of the things I thought of that I thought would be pretty cool would be you could get like points and then use them for, let's gonna make sure I'm doing the right way here, like staff, yeah. If you get points and you can use them to upgrade your, upgrade your home garage. Cause like right now your home garage is just there, right? And it starts out really crappy and stuff like that. But what if, you know, as in the course of doing like these weekly challenges, you got a certain kind of money or a certain kind of coupons or something like that or points or whatever that you could then trade in to like upgrade the sofa inside the garage or get a new paint job for the garage or clean up all the junk that's outside the garage and stuff like that. So with these weekly challenges that what you use to just kind of beautify your garage. Because right now the garages, really, the garages are just there and you just stop every once in a while at your garage. You're almost never at your garage, right? And it's almost no point in like, and you never really look around and you're not really proud of the thing. It's just a garage. How cool would it be if they had this whole layer of graphic changes and stuff like that, that you could get with challenges and then make your garage really cool. I thought that would be kind of cool. But what do you think anyway? And, and that got me thinking a little bit more too. It's like what other features, you know, cause we're getting up to 1.43 and you think, okay, what's going to be new? What other features are they going to put in the game? Or would you like to see in the game? And that got me thinking of a few things too. And I know one that all people mention is they would like to be able to have their hired truck drivers and trucks be visible in the world. So like you could be driving and you could pat, we could see Ahmed or Jana Kay pulled off on the side of the road watching Squid Games, you know, never not driving your truck and stuff. School bus. But like if you had your, your whole, all your employees and stuff like that off to the side, that would be kind of cool, I think. The other thing I think, and I know they'll never do it, and I know why, I think it would be cool if vehicles could have damage. There, I said it. Now I know supposedly the truck companies don't want that because it would look bad if your Mack truck were all banged up or flipped off on the side of a, you know, in the cliff and all broken up and stuff like that. But it just feels a little bit, like it's such a realistic and such a graphically beautiful game. It just, it's kind of, you feel like you're in a game, right? When you crash into a car and both cars are fine. That, that it kind of breaks that sense of reality and it would be cool. And maybe you don't have to like totally destroy the trucks, but just have them show damage or something, you know, cause they always look new and shiny and great. And that for a game that's so ultra realistic and prides itself on such great graphics, that to me is kind of a jarring reminder that, oh, this is all fake, you know? Whereas if you hit something and you put a big dent in your truck, you'd be like, oh gosh, that sucks and now I have to go get it fixed and it looks new again. That'd be cool. Or your truck just gets dirty and then you get to go to car washes or truck washes and you get it washed and stuff like that. You know, so a little bit more grittiness and realistic nature to, to what the trucks are in the game. I thought that one would be kind of cool. And then I got me thinking like, what, what, what features would you like to see in the game? What other things would you like to see added and stuff like that? I mean, there's probably tons of it once you get going and once you start thinking and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of it is you get mods and we get that stuff with mods. You get a lot of changes and things like that. But that would be a couple one that I thought, you know, would be pretty neat. Anyway, we got about an hour left and I've chatted for a long time. We've chatted for like an hour and a half now. Time goes fast when you start just chatting away. So we'll, uh, we'll get going a little bit more and get close to our delivery. And then we're going to try to park this. Then I'm going to go to the World of Trucks website, get the, the claim, the little prize, come back, and then we'll go buy it and then take a look and see what our little T248 steering wheel plush or little toy thing looks like. So we'll see in a little bit. Alrighty, here we are. We just have to pull right off the road here in Kingman, Arizona. Drop down to the right, then just zip around and we're right at the, look, is it Walbert again? Oh, Walbert. I've delivered so many Thrustmasters to Walbert. Not going to get another ticket here. Right around the corner. Where do we go with this now? To the right? 
Kingman. How many cities? Only five of 16 in Arizona. We got a lot of work to do in Arizona here. We have not much spent time in this state. Right here. Whoops, I'm going to hit that wall, honey. Woohoo, check out that right side. We got it, no problem. 90. Now, I will say, 90. Well, that looks actually fairly challenging because there's not enough room to go past it, really. Interesting. I'm almost... I will go take a look. I'm almost tempted to start here, right? To pull, pull around here and then back up so we could go right into it this way. Matter of fact, I really think that's the smart way to do it. So we're going to do it this way. So I'm going to do a complete U-turn here, go all the way around in a circle, then back up down there so we can go in. I feel like that's the way you've got to approach this one. I'm just totally making this up. I have no idea. But I do want to say that the two I did two deliveries before I recorded this, and the parking was the best consecutive parkings I've ever done, which of course means that we're going to totally, absolutely, 100% Screw this one up. I won't stick sometimes. Does that? There we go. All right. So let's we'll get this going here. I'm not gonna let people sit and watch while we do this all the way. So we'll check in as we get a little bit closer. We'll see if this is the right strategy. All right. So this is our approach we got here. Now this actually isn't that bad. I think that we're just not lined up for it right. So I think what we're gonna do is pull down, back down past it, then pull up closer to the wall and sort ourselves out. But I kind of actually. Um, I kind of like this approach that we took here. I feel like this is um, kind of the right way to approach this one. Um, it's longer than just coming straight at it, but I'm not sure that we would have had much success coming straight at it. So I'm just going to shoot past it here. And pull past it. Like this. Right, because the spot is right over there on our right. So now we're just going to go past it up here and back right into it. So like this, like this. Right. And it's a blind back though, isn't it? So we gotta do it off our right side. Right. A little bit more forward. bad if we can just make this corner now. We might have it. It was sharper though, don't we? Just looking off my right hand mirror here, I feel like we're doing okay. Now we gotta straighten it out. Quick, 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 quick. Got to get the trailer in straight. I think we got it. That worked pretty well. Nice. So the strategy worked. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest backup, but we're in. Nice and tight. First shot. Cool. So that worked to back up, pull forward, and then back in like that. I don't think we would have had enough room if we went past it and tried to back straight into it. I just don't think that was going to work very easily. So I liked our strategy. It just wasn't the prettiest job. But anyway, we are here. Enough of me babbling. Let's turn this in. Let's complete. See how much money we get. And we will complete our event. 292. We're closing in on level 16 too, by the way. Should get us another chunk of the way. Yep. So we're closing in on level 16. At level 15, there was a chassis upgrade that gives you less. There it is. Steering wheel rollout complete. 
<coughs> excuse me, personal goal completed. So I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna go to uh, World of Trucks and then we're gonna go pick up the thing and we'll be right back. All right, so I went to the World of Trucks page and I claimed it and then I linked it to my Steam account and now we have new Steam inventory items have been detected, cabin accessory, the T248 mini pedals. So now we need to go to use the world map, wherever the nearest maintenance place. Oh, look at that. This was just destiny here. So we're gonna go right over there and I'll see when we get there and we're gonna get our pedals here no matter how much they cost. They can't cost $32,000, which is what we've got right now. So I think we're okay. See you in a sec. Alrighty, so here is a garage that can fix us up, I think. And here, I think, open 24 hours, excellent. Let's go in now, and truck configurator. This must be here, maybe. A toy thing, maybe here? Nope, that's not it. Hmm, where'd it be? That thing, maybe? But is it there? No, B air freshener. Nope, not there. Is it here? Seat items? Thrustmaster? No. It's our food, right? Should we get I wonder if we should get new chips anyway. Magneto inductive compass. That sounds pretty cool. Up there, no, it's license plate. Dashboard sets. Nope. Front mirrors. Where the heck is this little toy go? Down here? Doesn't replace our cooler, right? Front items. Well, I'll poke around until we find it. It can't be that exciting to watch me look for this thing. Found them, the Thrustmaster T248 mini pedals. They replace our chips, which they're getting kind of stale anyway. And I realized we could get this little, the Thrustmaster steering wheel too. So we pick that up too. And now if we look at the inside of our truck here, we have our Thrustmaster T248 wheel up top. And then over on the right side of the dashboard, we have our little mini pedals. Pretty cool. I kind of like the chips because you can eat the chips and you can't really eat the pedals, but we'll leave them there for right now. And I think there's a way you can enter the contest. Maybe it's too late now to get a free wheel by taking a pit, but there's probably a bazillion people that entered that, right? But we might have to try to do that anyway, just to see if we were happen to win one. But that brings us to the end today. Mission accomplished. We've completed the steering wheel rollout event. We have toured a little bit of Arizona. We got our little prizes and check them out. And we are $32,000, so we're making some progress. Our goal, I think, again, is going to be get another truck. I think we have room for one more truck. So we're going to get another truck and another driver. Try to get the Empire going here. So, And I think, if I'm not mistaken, our driver's driver manager, Ahmed, has leveled up a little bit here, right? He's driving his international, rating 1.7. But yeah, he's added in two levels of long distance already. Nice. Go, Ahmed. How's Janet doing? She's getting there. She needs to get leveled up all the way with distance, and I think she's going to be better. She's making four thousand a day now, though, so she's yeah, she's coming along. Ahmed's only making one hundred eighty-one dollars a day. Come on, Ahmed, get with it. Anyway, enough of berating our empl employees. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next episode. I think I'll go back to Euro Truck Simulator Two for another episode and start bouncing back and forth again, as we've been doing, I guess. So uh, I'll see you in Europe, or see you back here if you're just watching this series and. Thanks again for all the support as we close in on 1,000 subscribers. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.